Welcome to Radio Bay Diego. It's another exciting Sunday here in San Diego, and we are here to rock. We are powered by the mighty WS Radio Networks, brought to you by all the fun folks over at PitbullAudio.com, where they just want you to play it loud. We're going to be doing that today, as well as SIR, who really came through last night at the Crohn's and Colitis Foundation Benefit Show. They brought out some gear for us and made it happen. And of course, Stars Align. Stars Align is an organization that is helping the youth here in San Diego get in touch with their musical roots because we don't always have that through uh, our schooling system nowadays, so that's a, a big one. One of the groups that are coming out of San Diego that is it's huge, a group that's on tour, making it happen, and doing it hard and metal, SLED is going to be here with us today. SLED, I want you guys to take it away. <laughs>
right now this is radio ban diego powered by the mighty ws radio networks the worldwide leader in internet talk and we're going to take over the music world as well because we got great groups like sled here with us and uh we're brought to you by sar music equipment rental pitbull audio at pitbullaudio.com and stars and lines so we are uh you know got some really cool music companies that are out there sponsoring us and uh, man you guys rocked it What's up, guys? What's so, happening? Happening. Yeah. It's <laughs> happening. It's good to be home. You guys are used to being in front of uh, rock rock arenas versus our, the radio mics right now, huh? So it's kind of a uh, different experience. And the stage is a little bit smaller. <laughs> <laughs> but you guys, you, know, you guys, you, it was it sounded amazing, both uh, in the studio as well as here going through the cans. And so I know the, the audience has had a, a great time. So, you know what, this, this segment, we kind of want to find out about... Uh, where you guys came from. Let's first start off with a round of names. So I know Dino and Peter. I'm Dino DeLuke. Pete DeLuke, Dino's brother, play keys and sing, a little background harmonies. Keith Greenwood, guitars, some background harmonies, and all that other jazz. Kerry Rothman, vocals. Ronnie Huff, the bass. Awesome. I, I, me, I'm a bass player, Ronnie. Uh, me and you, man. You, you, you made my you made my Mark, Mark bass cap sound great, dude. That was awesome. Cool. Yeah, it's nice. So, uh, who were the, who were the originators of the group? I started the band in 1995, uh, probably like January 1995. Okay. With Pete and Kerry. Okay. Okay. And uh, it was basically started out of uh, we had a cover band at the time called Nemesis, which is still around. Yeah. But uh, we had an original side of the band, and basically. Our vocalist Tommy Campbell had quit at the time, and uh, we kept, we keep wanting to going on with writing songs. So, Kerry had been coming into the club for years, and I'd known him real well. And I talked to him about putting together an original band, but we talked about changing the name to have a totally different flavor, so we weren't the same band that people would come out and see us at Park Place or wherever we were playing at the time. Yeah, yeah. So that's how Sled started. It was probably like January 1995. Our first date was May. March 17th at the Bacchanal, St. Patty's Day, the old Bacchanal on Claremont Mesa Boulevard. And it's actually our 20-year anniversary, so we have a lot to celebrate this year. You are rocking right, man, because you actually remember things, dude. You're not supposed to remember that stuff in rock and roll. That was great. I actually knowing the date. That's that's awesome. So 20 years, 20 years, and you guys have been together that long. That's, that is a testament to, uh, you know, you know, the spirit of music. What was the inspiration that kind of, you know, you know, what was where, you know, where were the artists that kind of inspired you guys, and what was the sound that kind of inspired it's you? Just, it's been a long, hard road. We were inspired by so many different bands. I mean, you know, to depict to one band as being the sole influence of Sled would be so hard. We, we hope people hear the different elements of our influences. I mean, Rush, Zeppelin, Aerosmith, you know. Alice in Chains, uh, Ozzy, there's, there's just so many great bands. We all grew up listening to pretty much the same type of music. Mm -hmm. and, and ironically enough, with, with the two newest cats in the band, uh, Keith Greenwood, our guitar player, and Ronnie Huff, our bass player, they were like the two missing pieces to the puzzle because these guys are into the same thing we're into. Hence, we have the new album, which we just we just released, uh, Get Rich Quick Scheme, and we just finished uh, doing 10 nights with... Our friends in Tesla are doing a, a, a small U.S. tour around uh, the United States, playing primarily in the South, Texas, Florida, North South Carolina, uh, Florida, and Georgia. So, uh, awesome, uh, awesome. So here's a question for you, a trivia question. What was Tesla's original band name? City Kid. Very good, very good. I'm from Sacramento. I actually 
almost managed him back in the day, a city kid. And then, Did you know Dan McClendon when he was alive, their sound guy? Uh, I didn't know the sound guy so so much, but I remember the, the, you know, all the guys, Frank and all those guys. Yeah. Yeah. Th those guys are the consummate professionals, man. I mean, it, it, to see them work day in and day out, how hard they rehearse, the time and effort they put into preparing themselves to perform and, and, and do whatever they do. A lot of people are amazed that they're still around. I'll tell you what, they're still selling tickets to their shows, too. Yeah, they're yeah. still very popular. They still, still sound amazing. Too. Yeah, yeah that's, uh, that's great. So that's awesome, man. You were, so he's got a great memory. This is awesome. That, you know, most people wouldn't. I thought it was going to trick you guys on that one. That's pretty <laughs> funny. So you, know, you, you, you had the spirit. You got a, a lot of different uh, artists. Tell us a bit about kind of the road that you guys took to kind of get where you're at opening for City Kid and, you know, and the things that you did, maybe some of the, the, the wild and crazy stories along the way. <laughs> yeah, so uh, I remember back when, uh, you know, Pete, Pete always was really good at going on the internet because the internet at the time was pretty new. So it was like, you know, he was kind of ahead of the time in, in, that, in that sense. And so he'd go out and find us some, some stuff. And we'd always been looking for help people to help us write content because we didn't have a we had a really hard time writing books so that was probably sled's biggest weakness in you know a 10 year span was to be able to find hooks how do we write them so we had a guy named Michael Raphael at one time we had another gen couple couple gentlemen in there specifically to help us write um, but specifically when it all came together was basically when Pete had alerted Brian Weed of Tesla and he said, I'd be happy to come up and let you guys come to Sacramento uh, to J, the J, J Street, uh, pink, big pink house in the back there. Yeah, J yeah. Street Studios. And, and we got to stay there for a week and everything. And we learned how to write. And, uh, you know, that was really when he drove hooks into our head. And wow. we, we didn't, we left there every night, you know, after 12 hours with this guy. I mean, he'd yell at us and throw stuff at us <laughs> and stuff. It was great. <laughs> but uh, we had to play live in there. And, you know, it's just like Tesla's place. But. The, the key was that he left us, you know, with with the in, in, intent of how to look at hooks and how to write songs from that point. It all changed from that point. So that's, that's a big breaking point for us. Even even prior to, to Brian, who was uh, definitely an influence, uh, we got an opportunity to work with a guy named Al Petrelli, Trans Siberian Orchestra, right. and Sabotage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And actually, uh, we've been friends and with Al for quite some time. I remember when he got the gig in Megadeth and when he was playing with Megadeth, he had us all backstage. And, oh, yeah, but we had a chance to work you know, with Mark Torian, the lead singer for the Bullet Boys, Al Petrelli, uh, Mark Kendall, who managed the band for a while. Mark's the lead guitar player for Great White. We had opportunities to work with all these different guys. And you know, I think while we had that opportunity, it was like class was in session. We, you know, you came away with a session from working with people that have gold and platinum albums on their wall. And you just say to yourself, okay, how do we get to that level of where they've already been? How do we aspire to be that successful? And, you know, like Carrie said, how do we find the missing ingredient to writing the key part of a song, which we refer to in the industry as a hook? You know, that chorus that, it's, it's that chorus that stays in your head, you know, when, you, when you're walking out of a, of a concert and three hours later, you're still singing to yourself, Dream on, dream on, dream on, dream until your dream comes true. You know, that, that yeah, kind of thing. Yeah, you know, uh, Aerosmith, I cited as being one of our big influences. Dino and I, being brothers, we were hugely influenced by them. And, and you could tell a band like Aerosmith right off the bat, they got it from yeah, day one. Yeah, yeah, and that's yeah. why they're, they, they're in their fourth decade <coughs> you know, of, of being legends. They inspired rap with the, on DMC. You know? maybe, maybe the greatest American hard rock and roll band of all time. When I say maybe, and no disrespect to anybody else, but certainly how could you deny Aerosmith's legacy? Yeah, yeah. I've seen Steven Ron Tyler's Ron brilliant. I mean, hands down, down, man. Yeah. yeah. I can speak for uh, Ronnie, Keith, and myself in, 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 in the sense that we're huge Rush freaks. Oh, yeah. So our, our hooks are music parts. Yeah. yeah. You know, that's what we heard all those years. So. Yeah, yeah. That, that, that's kind of cool. So yeah, it was cool like, coming together with these guys because they heard Vocal hooks. Yeah, we heard music hooks. So I, and I can, I, and I hear all the various influences, but I also hear there's a distinct sled sound. And that's the key. That is a that's a that's a big one. Uh, as you guys are kind of moving forward, what's kind of the plans for the? the well, future? let me elaborate on what you just said. Okay, okay, okay. Because part of why sled is what sled is is because pretty much Ronnie was handpicked, and so was Keith. And what they did. Um, one of the guitar players was in a band and he, he quit and that same night I contacted Keith. Keith was over at my house the next day grabbing a record and two days later he was in the studio ready to roll. I mean awesome. that's how that's how Keith rolls. He doesn't <laughs> screw around. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. 
Um, but I knew Keith. I knew Keith would be an awesome fit for this particular project, and so I kind of already had in the mind that this guy was going to leave anyway because just things weren't working out with him. Make a long story short, um, we knew we'd had these Tesla dates already booked, and you know, the, the good news is Pete, Ronnie, myself, and Carrie never panicked. You know, I said, guys, I don't even want to audition anybody else. I want to bring this guy in. I know he's got his own sound, his own the way he does things, he writes well, and we went with it. So make a long story short, Kerry is a vocalist, has his own thing. He doesn't sound like anybody else. Yeah, yeah. Pete, same way. Ronnie, definitely the same way. And Keith, absolutely. Keith's Keith. One thing about me as a drummer was I never really got uh, caught up in trying to sound like one particular guy. My biggest influence was probably Buddy Rich. But uh, the thing about me was I just wanted to try to develop my own thing and I felt like I did that with this band you know and that they didn't really want to get caught up into the Neil Peart thing I mean John Bonham's a huge influence but I didn't want to get caught up into his thing and you know it's being unique and taking little elements from everybody and creating your own style with it is what yeah. makes sled sled yeah. not just me but every instrument uh, musician in this band and carry and the vocal parts and that's what makes Tesla such a great band is they don't sound like anybody else they sound like Tesla you know, Aerosmith, same thing, Rush. Those guys just go out there, they write songs, and they let the music do the talking. And that's what's the most important part about being in an original rock and roll band. Don't get caught up in trying to emulate other people. Become yourselves, have your own identity. So when you hear one of our songs on the radio, you know, hey, that's Sled, you know? Yeah, and that's yeah. one of the hardest things to really do in this business, to create your own vibe, your own sound, and your own basically your own identity and that's the hardest thing to do in original music you know yeah and I think that's it and the passion that you guys have is, is, is key we're gonna have to take a, a commercial break here in a few seconds but uh, you know you know we're looking forward to the fourth summer you guys gonna be coming back we're gonna you got a you got a thought here uh, Save that. Pete. I want to answer your question. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we're, we're going to get into I have that. An that too. Yeah. So there's a few different ones we're going to be getting into. Uh, this has been Radio Ban Diego here on a fun Sunday with the amazing group Rocking It Hard Sled just off tour with Tesla. Uh, we are powered by the mighty WS Radio Networks. Brought to you by SIR Music Equipment Rental, where you can get your gear. And thank you guys last night for uh, providing that for us for Crohn's and Colitis benefit, as well as. PitbullAudio.com and uh, Stars Line. Yeah, it's the third segment of Radio Ban Diego, powered by the mighty WS Radio Networks, brought to you by SCR Music Equipment Rental, Pitbull Audio at PitbullAudio.com, where you can get your great gear. Uh, I don't know if you guys know, Pitbull Audio is down in National City, as well as online, where uh, they give you the best prices, where the best gear, and of course, our fun friends over at uh, Stars Line, where they're really making a difference with the youth. I, this is an organization down in uh, San Diego. Actually, they work with the youth down in National City to give them music lessons, but not only that, teach them about the business. And this is kind of what this segment's going to be about, is the business. I think I was jumping into it earlier, and I think, Peter, you had a, a good comment with, with that. You had a you, thought. You had asked us what was up next for SLED, uh, interestingly enough. Uh, SLED was just recently offered a recording contract with a European record label known as Slip Trick Records. We want to give a shout out to Mr. Carlo Muzelli and say hi to Carlo. Hey Carlo, oh, Carlo. 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 a big celebration. Right? So yeah, we were we were signed to a, another label and that deal expired about a year ago and so we've been sort of in search of something new and exciting and uh, um, we've had a, a, a lot of labels contacting us, but ironically we're getting a, a lot more notoriety coming out of Europe. A lot of the European record labels yeah, just yeah. seem to be attracted to what we're doing, and um, at this point uh, it's looking like uh, we're going to head that way and have some opportunities over there. And Perfect. Not to say we're not going to do stuff here in the States, but you know we want to broaden our horizons, sort of expand on things, and Keith is going to to tell you guys a little bit more Great, about yeah for sure so yeah with that we're also i mean we're still going to keep pumping out the get rich quick scheme album uh maybe even take on another little part of a tour we're not really sure yet as far as that goes but we're also going to start working on a lot more material new material writing um, I'm, looking forward to it, I'm a new member I've, I've got a ton of stuff in my head i want to get out so i'm chomping at the bit right now for us to spend a little bit of time being able to you know work on some new material and yeah. you know be able to introduce some of that maybe come the fall or, or late summer or something so we'll see what's up as far as that goes, but uh, really exciting, really cool stuff. Um, you guys have said it all. <laughs> <laughs> we got to let Ronnie in there. Ronnie, okay, hello, Ronnie, everybody. promo the next show. Ronnie, <laughs> tell everybody what the next show is. Ronnie Huff, our bass okay, player. This is our next show. 
Oh, July 31st, Saliva at the Ramona Main Stage. That's it. Uh, yep, you can get tickets That's now. That's going to be a Saturday night, right? Yep. And it's going to yeah. be a good one, so we're looking forward to it. Seven Train's playing too? Yeah. Yep. You heard it, Seven Train. Seven Train's coming on our show. Oh, very cool. Oh, great, oh, great band. Great guys. So, yeah, Friends okay, of we're ours. doing that show on the 31st in Ramona Main Stage. So and you can is. hit us up on Facebook, or you can go to sledweb.com um, and contact us to get tickets and all that good stuff, too. So. Also, we're on Reverb Nation slash sled forward slash. And a little, a little word to our friends in Seven Train. If, if you guys want to see a great concert for 30 bucks and see Saliva, who absolutely just kicks ass all the way around, they're a great band. Along with with our friends in Seven Train, another a San Diego-based rock band, and ourselves, for ten dollars per each act, you'll never find a better deal anywhere in rock and roll for that concert. And it's Friday night, the thirty-first of July, at the Ramona Main Stage. And uh, I know I heard that that uh, you just mentioned that uh, Seven Train was going to be coming on the show. Yeah. I hope everybody tunes in and checks them out. I've heard their new album, great stuff. Uh, a lot of talent in San Diego that a lot of people, I hope the listeners out there, give not only us an opportunity, but a lot of the other great local bands on the scene who are trying to get to the next level. So Yeah, yeah. you know what's kind of interesting, and I don't know if you guys knew this, Radio San Diego was pretty much created off of SLED. I don't know if you knew this. Peter had contacted me, I have another show called The Changing Stage. Peter had contacted me about a year ago and said, hey, I've got this, my group, we want to play, we want to do something, we'd like to be on your show. And, and Change Stage is more about the side people. So I've had like Nathan East and a few other these side players and then the, the, the companies that they're endorsed by. So I was like, this is not quite a fit. But you know what, there's something here. There's something, we've got something coming. So I sent him an email saying, you know, kind of bear with me, we're gonna do something. We kind of went back and forth. And then, voila, we, you know, a year later, actually, we were waiting for a piece of gear to do this, and, you know, now you guys are here. So, I, nice. th thanks, guys, because that was, it was, it was, Peter was, like, first, uh, his idea that kind of spawned us that there we need go. to jump on this. So. <laughs> nice, Pete. Um, Good job, bro. I, I'd also like to give a shout-out to uh, Sludge fans. We have the best fans ever, you know, uh, Tabitha, Lonnie, uh, but also to our road crew, and they just are absolute stellar class act that's right on the road right. just bad situations good situations they know how to how to be professional um you want to name the name the whole i'll name them. mega list and our crew and our yeah. crew. definitely our crew we got uh adam hamilton don lithgow uh ronnie uh we have uh jimmy joe hegarty we have uh lonnie fields we yes, have yeah. gus doug forsyth who's been with us for 26 years we have joel scalzetti who's been a manager of the band, the stage production manager. Adam runs the show. He's our production manager. He runs all the tours. He's been on all the Tesla tours. We've done four different tours with those guys. And basically, uh, Adam's also our monitor engineer. He also he does a lot for this band. And uh, we'll, we'll Don put Lithgow we'll does put our, our means. We'll, we'll put our road crew up against anybody in rock and roll, man. These guys are the best. We also want to thank Carbon USA, uh, Richard Cruz. Uh, we're endorsed by them. Yeah, yeah. Carbon and and uh, local. Richard Cruz is a big part of that whole thing. He helped us out with the amps today. Jeff Kiesel for Kiesel Guitars, been a big, big asset in our corner. And the person that runs all our merch, the sled merch, is Crystal Duger, Carrie's fiance. Yeah. Another big, tremendous asset to have in our corner. I just want to give a quick shout out to Von York Strings USA, awesome set of strings, and uh, they're very proud endorser of those strings. So check them out, Von York USA. Cool video. Yeah. Thank you. And, and you said you had something you wanted to say about. Uh, with the event that we had last night there, Peter. Yeah, you know, it's funny, you were mentioning something about the Crohn's and Colitis Foundation. Uh, I had heard you guys mention that. Dino and I, our mom, had suffered from that disease mm. for well over 20 years. And this is, uh, she's gone now about 27 years. She died at age 49. But I want to give a shout out to the Crohn's and Colitis Foundation and also to you guys for, for being a part of that event uh, last night that was put on in, in honor of that. Uh, Things hit home for certain people, you know what I mean? And certain, you know, diseases and, and, and certainly everything touches somebody else's lives because usually if it relates to a family member or to yourself, yeah. you know, when you hear something, somebody doing something about an event like that, um, it, 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 it touches your heart. And I think Carrie wanted to mention something about it. We have a song on our, on our album. Uh, it's, it's entitled Nina's Courage. And it... Uh, it relates to something else away from the Crohn's and Clays. It relates to epilepsy. And uh, some close friends of Carrie's will tell you 
Yeah, so I'm involved in uh, this. In, in my business, I'm involved with some business uh, friends of mine who became pretty close and started traveling to some trade shows with us and stuff. But uh, their daughter in particular, Nina, had, had passed away of epilepsy. And uh, and uh, it, it was a pretty tragic scenario the way it went down. And uh, so they, in their hearts, you know, put a lot of, inve invested a lot of money into a, a, a program called ninascourage.org. So if you go to ninascourage.org, please uh, give uh, uh, Nadia and Tom uh, Davies your blessing. And, uh, and and they're just great people, but uh, the the crowds in in, uh, in the South took took really kindly to uh, to oh, that yeah, after yeah. the song was over and everything. They, it was pretty wild. So we also have another song on the album entitled "With Liberty." I think we're going to play it this afternoon. It, it relates to uh, the servicemen, the people that serve our country, and we want to give a big shout out to all the active and, 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 and former military people, the reserves, <coughs> people that protect this country. They give us the opportunity to, to play rock and roll, to tour across this this great country, and 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 do what we love to do because of the freedom and the liberty that we're all given to do such. And without those people, you know, where would any of us be if we couldn't yeah. relax? Texas. And we went over to the uh, Brook Army Medical Center when we were playing down in uh, San Antonio, and we went and spent a couple hours with a lot of the injured uh, servicemen who are currently rehabbing. Yeah, These are people awesome that have lost arms and legs and eyes and, 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 you know, just going over there and spending time with them, they were just so gracious and so grateful. But you know what? That was something that we felt like we needed to do. You got to give back, man, when you, when, you, when you do what we do. You got to touch people and sometimes you got to go beyond, you know, being a musician. You yeah. just got to be a person, you know, and become part of the community and and reach out and help people because sharing the love is what it's really all about, man. Yeah, it, it is. So we've got about two minutes left, guys. You guys have been doing this for 20 years, as you mentioned. What would be something you would share with some of these players up and coming, especially some of the metal players? So go ahead, Dino. The best thing you could do is find a great producer, uh, a great engineer. Don Lithgow was a big asset in our corner. He asked me if he could produce the record. Um, we brought him in. He owns DML Studios <laughs> up in... Uh, Lake Elsner area, and he's been a tremendous asset. Not only has Donnie been our producer, but he's also been our live sound front of house main engineer. So it was just an asset to have him around. Um, Adam ha handled a lot of the pre-production in the studio with us. We were writing the songs. A guy named Dave Hall helped us out a lot, and you know we put together a good team when we were writing songs. And basically, you know that's how you got to start. You got to write great songs or write songs. Bring in people that are knowledgeable. My brother produces, Pete. He had co-produced this last record. And uh, take it from there. And if you're looking for label support, you know, you shop the, the record when you're done with it. And hopefully when you have songs that have hooks on it, the offers start piling in. It's amazing. You know, the last couple of records we did, they were great records, but the hooks just weren't, like what Carrie was talking about. They weren't there yet. They just weren't there yet. And now it's like we're hitting off all the different labels. I mean, we're hitting them off of the fly swatter. They're all pouring in with offers. That is awesome. Which is a great thing to have in our corner, you know? <laughs> so uh, we got 30 seconds left. Let's kind of give some of the URLs, the websites, the Facebooks, so that people can find out about you that don't maybe know about you just yet. All right, well, you guys can go onto Facebook and just type in SLED. I don't really know the URL, but just straight up type SLED, S-L-E-D-D. -D. You can also go to SLEDweb.com. Uh, S L E D D W E B dot com. Pretty much the hub. You can go onto our Reverb Nation from there. You can see um, SoundCloud, all of our other stuff. We've got some videos, some songs you can check out. Uh, you can order our CD online there. Um, One big shout out to Mike Conlon in Memphis, Tennessee. Oh, our yeah, media, he's our media guy. guy. Man. Unbelievable. Man. Thank you, Mike. We love you. You're the bomb. Yeah, Mike did all the album graphics on the album, and it spent awesome, awesome. I don't know how many weeks and months. So this has been Radio Man Ego. Thanks you, Peter. Make sure you guys stay tuned because we've got another segment of live music uh, powered by Mighty WS Radio Networks and brought to you by TickleAudio.com, SIR, and Stars Alive. We are back. That was an amazing segment. This is Radio Man Diego, powered by the Mighty WS Radio Networks, brought to you by SIR Music Equipment Rental. Again, thanks to those folks for providing all the gear for last night's Crohn's and Colitis Foundation event, the benefit event with Bump and Brass, uh, Joe Luna Band, as well as Curbside Vinyl. Uh, 
Uh, and uh, we'd like to thank uh, Stars Align because those, those folks are really doing some incredible things for the kids here in San Diego. They've got a great school teaching kids music as well as the business. And you know what? We're going to kind of just jump it off with some more music from Stars because these guys rock. Take it away, guys. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs>
Yeah.